What's up guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna show you how to track your video onto your wall. It's pretty simple to do and honestly it's one of my favorite effects because it looks dope and it looks pretty complex but it's pretty easy and all you need is After Effects. So let's jump on into After Effects and I can show you how to do it. So now we have After Effects open and this is going to be our example clip. For starters, scroll to the beginning of your clip and we know that we want to track on the wall up here. So select your clip and make sure you are on the default window and head on over to Tracker. Once you select Tracker, there's a button called Track Camera. All you have to do is click it. As soon as you click track camera, it will actually apply the 3D camera tracker effect and start analyzing your clip. Just let After Effects do its work and then we'll come back later. Once After Effects has finished the track, you'll notice that there's a lot of points right here. And in order to increase the size of those points, just click the track point size and drag it to the right. That will increase the size of your points so you can see them easier. So what this means is these are points that actually tracked throughout the video. So we can select a couple. So normally if you hover in between three, it'll create a plane. But I like to click and drag a bunch of track points. That way it'll create a better plane. So once you click and drag and highlight all of those, right click and select create solid and camera. What that does is it'll, it will create a track solid that we can move around our frame. And if you play it back, that is attached to the top of my computer screen. So how do we get this up on the wall and add a video? Well, for starters, what I like to do is click S on the track solid and increase the scale so I can see what this looks like. As you can see, it's not perfect. So let's just click and drag this up onto the wall and start manipulating it. So what I like to do is click these down arrows and then click down on the transform effect and we're going to change the position and orientation. For starters I like to play around with the orientation. Now you're just going to click the X, Y, and Z values until you get an orientation that looks good to you. I like the looks of that. I know it's not going to be perfect but I'm going to change it later. So what we want to do now is right click on our track solid and select pre-compose. We're going to name this video layer track. Now, if we double click on video layer track, you'll notice that it is just our square. So what we wanna do is go to composition, composition settings, and change this to our video size. For example, I'm shooting in 4K, so I'm gonna do 3840 by 2160. That makes our composition a little bit bigger, and we can just delete the track solid because we don't need it anymore. I'm gonna actually attach my logo intro to the wall. So as you see, it looks like this. I'm gonna increase the scale a tiny bit, and this is what I'm working with you can see that my logo has been attached to the wall. Now it's not perfect as you can see these lines are a little bit diagonal and this wall is vertical. So what we're gonna do is go back into the transform and adjust the orientation till we get it to look how we want it. I think that looks good just like that. And I'm gonna click S to increase the scale a little bit. And here's the fun thing. Since this logo was created on a white background, I can simply go into the mode right here and change it to multiply. And that will remove all of that white. So now if I play it back, I have my logo animated onto my wall. And you'll notice it may be hard to see, but if the track isn't the best or it looks like it's out from the wall a little bit, you're actually gonna go into the transform tab again and mess around with the position Z value. And that is the blue line right here. So we can actually click that Z value and drag it to the left to bring it back. Cause we want to push this back towards the wall as my computer screen was a little bit forward in front of the wall. So once we push that back, it should look like it's actually attached to the wall. So that's pretty dope and it's so simple to do. I think this effect looks great when you have animations or anything that has a transparent background. While you can put a video up there as well using the same technique, I think it looks dope when you have a transparent background. I'm gonna show you one more track just so you can get everything you need. So this is the next clip that we're gonna be showing you. All you have to do is select your video layer and head on over to the tracker and select track camera. Let After Effects do its thing and we'll come back. 
Again, once After Effects has finished the track, you'll notice all these track points. Let's increase the size of them just a tiny bit. And we need to actually create a plane that is down here on this table. So I like to just click and drag anywhere. So I'm gonna click and drag around here, get some of the points in the keyboard, and then right click, select Create Solid and Camera. So again, we can move this around wherever we want, but I'm just going to right click on the tracker first, go to pre-compose and name this video layer track. Now I'm gonna double click on that video layer track and change the composition settings to something that I want, like 3840 by 2160, and delete that track solid right there. And this time I'm actually just gonna create a text layer. I'm gonna right click, select new text. And I'm going to name this whatever I want. For this example, I'm just going to type my name, and we're going to increase the size of this text layer a little bit. And then once we have the size that we want, go back to our composition, and you'll see my text is right down there. So what we can do is start to manipulate this and drag this around however we want. So I'm going to click on that video layer track, click S for scale, and scale this up quite a bit. And then I'm going to hit these down arrows until I get the transform tab and mess around with the orientation and we're gonna click this red arrow and drag this to the right. If you're dragging to the right and it doesn't move as fast as you'd like, hold the shift button and that will actually drag it a little bit faster. So once we have that where we like it, we're also gonna play this back to check out what it looks like. And honestly, it looks pretty good. So using the Create Solid feature in the camera tracker is actually a great way to add text or just video if you want. Again, if you want video, you can just delete that layer and we can drag on any video we want. You just have to scale up that video and then go back to your track layer. And as you can see, our video obviously is not appropriately proportioned, but you can play around with this for a while and get some interesting effects that actually look pretty dope. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please let me know down below. Hit that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. And as always, I'll see you next time.